A budget measures aimed at tackling rising costs in Singapore will be brought forward. That's as global inflation is expected to be higher and longer lasting due to the war in Ukraine. Finance Minister Lawrence Wong says the government is ready to provide more support if the situation worsens. Heidi Ng reports. Things are getting more expensive in Singapore, whether it's petrol or fresh produce or raw materials. Inflation is rising because of governments spending more to reboot economies and pandemic-related shipping bottlenecks. At the start of 2022, there were some initial hopes that global inflationary pressures would ease over the course of the year as the supply situation improved. But with the war in Ukraine, it is now likely that global inflation will be higher for longer. With the pressure rising, some budget measures earlier announced have been brought forward to give immediate relief to households and businesses. For one, households will get their $100 Community Development Council's vouchers that help with daily essentials in May instead of year-end. The first tranche of rebates that help with household utility bills and conservancy charges will be given out this month. The rest in the coming quarters. Lower-income households hit harder by soaring prices will also receive more help. A monthly cash assistance scheme to help with household bills will last at least six months for sign-ups now till September. Those already on this ComCare scheme can ask to have assistance extended. There will also be support for public transport fares. We had earlier disbursed public transport vouchers or PTVs to every household that received a P PTV in the last exercise. And that, included, that includes over 30,000 Comcare beneficiaries. We will do another round of disbursements this month for these Comcare recipients. So they will receive $60 of PTVs, which will roughly cover the additional fares paid by a family of four this year, arising from the fare increase last December. For small businesses, a grant that gives up to $10,000 for those most affected by COVID-19 restrictions will also be brought forward. They'll receive this by June. But Mr Wong says that higher costs cannot be offset indefinitely. Even without the war, we would eventually have to adjust to a secular increase in energy prices as we seek to decarbonise our economy. Likewise, on the manpower front, we will continue to face a tight labour market given our rapidly ageing population. In short, labour and carbon are permanent, not temporary constraints for our economy. Ultimately, he says Singapore must redouble efforts to restructure and transform the economy to be more resilient to external shocks.